It's more friendly than, uh, for example, Mexico. We just like immediately felt super safe. Nice people, kindly people and yeah, very nice here. It's not about that we have to look uh, at our bags or... People are the friendliest I've met of, out of any country I've traveled to. Better weather than in Germany. Do you think this is the safest country you've visited so far here in Latin America? Hey, pero que onda? Que tal? Como van, yo espero que la estén llevando bien ahí en sus casitas o donde sea que me estén viendo. Hoy nos encontramos aquí en la playa El Sonte, ya que estaremos haciendo la parte 3 de esta aclamada serie aquí en el canal, preguntándole a extranjeros qué opinan de aquí del de Salvador. Y aunque esta playa no sea tan conocida como el Tunco, podemos decir que en esta playa es donde se empezó el proyecto de Surf City, proyecto el cual atrajo a muchos turistas, a muchos extranjeros aquí al país. Así que hoy nos vamos a adentrar a esta playa a ver si en encontramos extranjeros para hacerles preguntas acerca de qué opinan del país y sin más nada que agregar, démosle, empecemos con el trip. Great, so I'm here with... Jenny. Jenny. Great, and where are you from? Um, I'm from Denmark, but live in Canada right now. Okay, great, great. Uh, the first question, what do you think of El Salvador so far? Oh, I love it. It's amazing. So nice, beautiful, the food is great. People are the friendliest I've met of, out of any country I've traveled to. So it's amazing. I heard that you said that the food is great. Have you tried pupusas yet? Oh yes, many times. All of them. <laughs> <laughs> you tried all the flavors? Yeah, yeah. All the, as many as I have come into contact with so far. Oh, right, okay. And I know you said that the people here are amazing. Do you feel safe around here in the country? Yes, definitely. Coming here, we were like doing our research and we're thinking about like how the security would be just because of the things we had heard. So we, uh, me and my boyfriend, has, we've traveled a lot and a lot around South America. And we thought, okay, we might have to take extra precautions and so on, but Arriving, we just like immediately felt super safe. We meet a lot of people who are traveling around, like busing around. It's couples or even girls on their own and stuff like that. We felt extremely safe. Everyone just happy and just like wants to help you out if there's anything. I really admire that. I really admire backpackers and solo travelers because it takes a lot of courage to yeah. do that around the yeah. world. But what made you come here in El Salvador specifically? Number one on the list was the, was surf, okay. and my boyfriend surfed, so um, he had to get his fix then. <laughs> so that was number one, and then we've been to different parts of Mexico a bunch of times, so it was kind of trying, getting the, the surf, but trying a new place, and, and then we had, we know a couple of people who are originally from El Salvador, and they're like, the sweetest people. So we just had a really good feeling of like the people we'd meet and the experience we'd have and it's only been better than <laughs> we expected. So. Okay, I'm really, really glad to hear that. I don't know how long you've stayed here for, but what places have you visited here in El Salvador? So we've, we've been here a week so far and we're gonna be three, three weeks. We've been in um, Misata, that's where we started. And then we went up to, um, you. I'm probably not pronouncing it right, but uh, Iwayua Okua. What? It's up in the mountains uh, on the flower route. Santa Ana, we did the, well, hiked the volcano up there. Then we drove down, been here, and we're gonna check out K59. Okay. And then we're going down to Las Flores after that. So. All right, yeah, those are really nice places to visit here. And I think the place you were trying to pronounce was uh, Huayua. Huayua, yeah. yeah. It's in the Ruta de las Flores. I'm really glad that you, you went there. It's really amazing. It was amazing. The town, so cute, so colorful, and the people, like, Again, like just super nice, and there was like a party in the street every night, and the coffee up there, amazing. If there's any a date that you don't have anything to do, I'll give you one quick recommendation. Okay. It's actually really close from here. Okay. It's the Tamanique waterfalls. I don't know if you've heard of them. No, we like we were hearing about the waterfalls up by Huayua, but um, we didn't have enough time and kind of skipped that. So maybe that's why we okay. have to go and see a waterfall. Yeah, it's, uh, we're actually from there. I'll totally recommend it. Really nice waterfalls, really pristine water, really nice views. So it's it's definitely a recommendation. Amazing. Okay. Well. Well, we're gonna 
put that on the list then. <laughs> All right, and maybe you could answer for your boyfriend. How is he liking this, the, the waves here? Oh, he loves it. The only thing is, it's been like the smallest out of what it can, what it usually is here just this past week. And the reason for coming to El Salvador is like consistently good with waves. I think this week has been like on the shorter <laughs> side, like out of like ever, but um, but it's still like really good and he loves it. And we're gonna try K59 as well and then down the coast. And he's just having the best time in, okay. in the water. Like All Right, and just one last question. Yeah. Um, will you recommend people from Denmark or Canada come yeah. and visit the country? Oh, 100%. Yeah, I'm gonna tell everyone. My family, they've traveled um, South America like since I was little and I, you know, they, they're dying. To, they're seeing my pictures. They're gonna, they're gonna be here soon. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you for posting those pictures and, promote, and promoting our beautiful country. Yeah, thank you so much for your time okay and I hope you keep enjoying your vacation here in El Salvador thank you so much thank Thanks. you <laughs> okay, so I'm here with Jera and Finn Finn all right and where are you guys visiting us from I'm from Germany Germany yes both from Germany okay cool I actually had a roommate in college he was from Germany best people I've ever met like they're, they're amazing you know okay so um, where in Germany do you guys live Um, Kassel it's a small town in the middle Okay, great. Uh, so the first question, um, I don't know how long you, have you guys stayed here, but what do you guys think of the country so far? Um, it's nice, so we only stayed here for like for a second day now, but we really like it. It's really beautiful and the weather is also nice. All right. Yeah, nice people, kindly people and yeah, very nice here. Better weather than in Germany. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely. About the food, have you guys tried pupusas yet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. really yeah, amazing, really, really delicious. Okay, uh, do you guys remember what flavors you guys tried? Yeah. Cheese and um, chicken and... What is it? Ayo? Is it Ayo? Ayo and, and, yeah, and cheese. Ajo. Ajo. I think Ajo, which is like garlic. Yeah, great, great. And I know that you said that the people here are really nice, right? In terms of safety, do you guys feel safe around here in the country? Yeah. Said good, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't know if you guys speak much Spanish. But have you guys learned any phrase in Spanish here? Like any... Uh, un poco. Un poco. Yeah. Un poco. Yeah. Un poco. <laughs> okay. like, like small sentences. <laughs> but yeah. it's uh, sometimes really difficult to um, speak with uh, the people here because they don't speak that much English um, and our Spanish is not that good. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Most of it translated with our apps. Oh, yeah. right. <laughs> I'll teach you a word. It's, it's Spanish, but it's a really Salvadorian word. It's chivo. I don't know if you guys heard of it. Chivo? Chivo. No. The meaning? The meaning it's like something's really cool. It's really? chivo. Chivo, chivo yeah, is like okay, cool, I'll great. All yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> so eating pupusas is chivo. You could okay. say that. Okay. <laughs> Later we eat pupusas and then I say it. <laughs> <laughs> right. And just one last question: Would you recommend people from Germany to come and visit the country? Yeah, of yeah, course. 100%. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for the interview and for your time. I hope you keep enjoying your vacation. And yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. All right. I'll see you guys thank later. You. All right. See ya. Okay, so I'm here with Hilda. Hilda, great. And where are you from? I'm from Holland. Holland, nice. Yes. Okay, so so far, I know that you told me you've been here for a day or so. So, but so far, what do you think of the country? Um, first of all, I think it's beautiful out here. And when we arrived at the airport, it was a warm welcome. Everybody was very friendly. The taxi driver was very friendly, and the vibes here are uh, amazing. Really chill. We're with two children also and uh, we feel very safe. Okay, I'm really glad to hear that. And I know that you said that the people here are friendly. In terms of safety, how do you feel? Well, we feel good. It's not about that we have to look uh, at our bags or people trying to sell you something. Or they are very friendly. If you say no, thank you, then they will buy. bye Okay, great, great. So nice. So glad to hear that. And about our food, and have you tried pupusas yet? Yes, we tried. Okay, and what do you think about them? Yeah, they taste very good. Okay. Well, a different uh, restaurant. There's a difference, but they're in generally they're good. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what made you come to El Salvador? Well, we have a uh, world travel with our kids for half a year and we started in Mexico and we thought we'd go down, down, down and then we, uh, we did Mexico, Belize, Guatemala. Then we thought we'd go to El Salvador because my husband is really into the Bitcoin Okay. and he really wanted to see here how it works and how the people of 
uh, El Salvador think about it and that's great great yeah this is actually yeah. Bitcoin Beach here in El Salvador so this is a great place to spend Bitcoin yeah okay is. and I know that you told me you've been in Latin America and ab about safety do you think this is the safest country you've visited so far here in Latin America well the safest I don't know because we really did the tourist places because we are with two little kids right. uh, but it's more friendly than, uh, for example, Mexico. They want to sell you everything, and uh, and we got scammed by the rental car. And so for now, this feels safer and friendlier. And we say in Holland, gezelliger. <laughs> oh. We'll look it up. Okay, I'll look that. I'll definitely look that up. And I know you told me you're gonna stay here for a couple of days. Uh, what other places are you willing to visit? Well, we, we were first in El Tunco, and then we we're here in El Zonte. And we have a rental car, we go to the volcano, of course, and the lake. And the next day we drive around and we look where we are. And then Saturday we have a flight to Colombia. Okay, those are really nice places to visit. But I'll give you one recommendation though. Okay. It's this waterfalls, it's like near here. It's, it's a 30 minute drive from here. Okay. It's called Tamanique Waterfalls. Yeah. yeah, I read about it. Okay, those are really amazing waterfalls. We're actually from there and we go often they're really amazing so that's the recommendation i'll give you for uh, not tomorrow but the next day okay yeah and last questions would you recommend people from holland to come and visit the country yeah definitely it would be nice the beaches are beautiful the people are friendly so uh, i feel safe so i definitely recommend it and especially i think you have to be now go now or in a short time because i think this beach uh, about in 10 years it, it looks totally different. Yeah, definitely. Especially all the innovations that are happening here yeah. in the country right now. Yeah. Okay, so thank you so much for your time. It was right, really nice meeting you. And I hope you keep having a great vacation. Yeah, thank you. All right. Good luck with the videos. All right, thank you so much. Thank you. Y por lo anaranjada que está mi cara, pueden ver que ya está atardeciendo. Así que hasta aquí vamos a estar dejando el video de hoy. Como pudieron ver, los extranjeros solo tuvieron cosas muy bonitas que decir aquí acerca de mi querido El Salvador. Así que si les gustó el video, dejen su gran like y suscríbanse para más videitos así. Y como siempre les digo, vívanla porque la vida que se te da es una y es muy especial. Así que vivila con personas bonitas, vivila en lugares bonitos y nos estaremos viendo en el siguiente trip. Salud. Porfa, deja de llorar Nada peligroso va a pasar Me quedo aquí contigo y nunca te voy a dejar Todas las pesadillas ya se van Ya nada pasará Ya nada pasará Ya nada pasará